Right, and we're back. Will possibly be the final episode of this uh, adventure. Of this side of the adventure, anyway. So, Persian, I caught you just after the last episode. I caught one of you as well. You guys are super quick. Look at him fly! But anyway, uh, and, um, I went swimming around this area. Um, it was kind of like going on one of my adventures. Let's go. Let's see how long we can get there. I've not been looking at any more of the stakes in the ground thing. Oh my god, the Pokemon I've run into. And we have repels back. Alright, and as we always do, area. Going for a five. I've got a feeling you're a bad fight to go for. Still scarred from the first time I went for against one of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, what have we got for me? Oh, an Altaria. Um, well, it depends on the level. Level 30. How do you have one at level 35, my dude? Ah, let's just get this over and done with. Like, twice the level. I kind of went adventuring way too much. And then again, whenever do I not? I mean, I, I, I imagine with the level my Pokemon are at the moment, Dippytox is like my lowest at level 72. I should be able to get through the rest of the game. But I mean, if you're going to give me the opportunity to venture around, walk around, and do what I like doing and just getting lost, then of course I'm going to be highly, highly leveled. Pretty much what I did in Sword and Shield. Although Sword and Shield wasn't as up, everyone complained. I still thought it was. This technically the new area, and that guy was part of the old area. Did I fight you? Let's go a little further on, see if we can find someone else. It makes a little. Oh, your pigs just inhabit this entire island. Not where you are. Right, getting closer. Fighting you. I want to fight someone closer to the. Ah, dude in the snow. Right, got my official fight on these mountains. Oh, you let me down. I do that every week. Oh yeah. Who has the greater electric Pokemon? Again, pointless. I have the greater electric Pokemon. Level 36. My official fight. I called it. I'm a loser. Load me all you want. I'm gonna sneak. Thought he was like. Pokemon Center. I got to this place. Oh, yeah. Ah, hiding the bushes all. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, I'm heading in the. Oh no, I was heading in the right. Now that I'm here, I head up. That way? I don't know because it's all mountainous. Frozen leg. Shall I just climb the mountain rather than fight? Yeah, let's just Skyrim it. I think the first like ten times I played Skyrim, I didn't actually follow the step. I didn't follow the step. Oh, oh, you two having some time together? Okay, I shall leave you be. Oh look, there's a path that probably leads right to the... I decided not to follow it. Hey, can I put any Pokemon that's level 50 or higher through Hyper Trick? What'd you say? Do you want um, your Pokemon training? Sure. But which Pokemon do you want to Hyper Trick? Garchomp, seeing as he's the highest? I don't know what you're going to do. Well, caps. Old Bottle Cap. 
I have three bottle caps. That do I want to raise? I just choose. Oh, I keep choosing. Uh, okay. Hyper train. How much better did you get? Oh. A reasonable amount. Okay. Where the heck do I get more bottle caps from? Because they're the only. Then three were the only ones I ever found. Like, I imagine it's something you only ever find. Unless there are places around that I've been able to buy them. I've just. Doing that much, you kind of put my Pokemon up. They're not going to be cheap. Uh, they're the ghost types. I'll stop being caught. Alright, come on Dino, let's go! Alright, Nimona wants to have a battle first. Warm up match, for me. Well, something tells me you're, you're not going to be that difficult. You know, sorry not to put confidence in you, but you've not been that good. And considering the level of the pulp. Oh, I can. Uh, it's not really skill, it's more the fact that I'm much higher level than it. Cool. You're only level 40. Also, why is Dippy Dino still only got bite? Did I, miss, did I not pay attention and he should have crunch by now? Ooh. I corrupt. The goo. Alright, dodge jump. Dodge jump is still holding on to that bloody egg. <laughs> Not really seeing the need to give it to anyone else. I should probably give him a more useful battle line. Oh, I thought you were going to throw out the old ball. Oh well. Bye. That stung. I bet it did. I hit your Pokemon so, so hard even you felt it. Oh my. Hello. Well, the poor dude evolves again. Change very much. Hold him into that. That's like the third... I have to take a nosy at that one. It's still not as strong. But then again, what do you expect? It's another Pokemon to kind of take over from uh, Peak. Dippy Dino! Well, and you throw out your freaking hat. Why do you need to... Why do you feel the need to talk in between every little thing that's happening? Yeah, and let's just get on with the fight. Just do it again! Get up! Get on with the fight, man! Hey, it went from grass to grass, and I'm about to smoke your ass. I don't even waste my time with terrestrial life. I do when it comes to the Elite Four. No, Go on, Dino. Yeah, thanks for the max portions, and my Pokemon are more than ready to. Yes, I would like to re like to go to a restaurant again and choose the menu for the restaurant. Is an act. Alright, so gym test is just battles. Eight. 
be fair, I've not come across the dual. Is it going to be like um, dual battle, triple battle rotation sort of thing? Because I know Nintendo was like experimenting with these. That kid just asked me if I can do math. Oh, I didn't go to many of the classes, I'll admit. But I can easy kick your ass. This guy's just going to be stood right in the middle of it. Alright, you fight that dog. And you snarl at that. Oh, it's both of them. Okay, cool. Holy crap. You know, I didn't even get the opportunity to see what level they are, but I imagine they're on them. You didn't even have a chance to do anything. This guy in the middle is loving it. Oh, I've totally got this. Not gonna be do. What's she gonna do? Dance to Cotton Eye Joel somewhere as a Pokemon um, tremble. Ooh, a Halter. Ooh, I hope someone's gonna miss Magius. Shadow Ball, and we'll do it all again. <laughs> Not something I should just keep faith in the skull because it's just, it's just not getting anywhere. Please tell me someone has a Miss Magius because I love Miss. Why is your cheek coming from beneath your hair like that? Alright, uh, Condon, who's next? Did her twin sister? Oh, it's you. Fight against you yourself? Okay, okay, you better chuck something up good. Oh, he's not the gym leader, he's just the a, a gym trainer. Fair enough. But right, um well I guess I'll go for the new Actually, do I go for the Just so just in case Sab Sabi gives me some issues. I know it's ghost and dot. No issues whatsoever. I hope my microphone is actually picking me up. Oh, is that it? <laughs> it's not much of a gym test, is it now? You basically just have me going to some battles. Oh, wait, we're going... Oh! Fair enough, if we're going straight into it. Oh my god, it's Beyonce on a day off. You're asking me to do a rap battle or a gym battle? Um, well, you know, to excuse the cringiness, I'm going to go straight into the battle. Is it going to be a dual battle like the uh, other ones? Was that sort of like a setup for this? Come on, they ought to be good music for this. Or is it going to be the same? Same. Man, I was so hoping it was going to be different music. Oh, shut up and let's just get on with a fight. Right. Shadow Ball on Bonetti. And then a Snarl. Just to see if we can get for it. I mean, I know the little dude is... Um, is it Ghost and Fairy? Ow! That can suck a punch me, ass. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me, Miku. Thought so. Oh, freaking disguise rubbish. I'm <laughs> totally going down. That freaking disguise thing, it's like a, a protective shield on the first hit. Oh. 
And the doggle I was expecting, but not the Toxie dude. Uh, what's going on? Why is attack rising? Is that just because of the crowd? I mean, these are the last two Pokemon. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this dude. Oh, more doggos. I kind of knew the, uh, the reason for them tombstone things. <laughs> and the little dude on the speaker. He's totally enjoying the music. I imagine that's going on the toxic one. Yeah. And now he is the perfect type for me to totally take down. Oh, so close. Snarl is not even a strong move. Easy. Do you know, I was tempted to get the other toxic dude, the uh, yellow one. I'm sorry, Beyonce. Just give me my badge and get out of here. I gotta get another one, and then I gotta go and check out the last team star. Pokemon up to level 55. Wait, the last badge get, said level 50. Are you only getting five extra levels out of this? That sucks. That dealt with nice and quick. I mean, like real nice and quick. I don't know if I expected to get my butt handed to me. Oh, it's not even the gym I meant to go to. <laughs> I wanted to do this one and then go up to this one. All right. So, uh, let's set this one. No, 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 not check details. Set destination, because then I can see it. Yep, that way. And she gave me Shadow Ball. I don't need... I'm not bothered by Shadow Ball. It's a good move, but we already got it. What am I actually going to come across in this place? Oh, I don't have one of you weird... Glyph dudes. Whatever the heck you're meant to be. They're kind of cool looking. I mean, this entire area is probably cool, but... Oh my god, it's right there. Are these places seriously that close to each other? Oh, it's literally just a gym. A Pokemon Center and a gym. There's nothing else here. You hid hiding behind the barrels? Oh, come on. There's a gimme ghoul at every Pokemon Center. Ah, I just spotted him. No. Yeah, I see you behind there. This is a heck of a scene. I see why there's one here. I mean, if this was like um, a PS5, we'd, the view would probably be a little better. Alright, let's go for it. Last gym. But apparently, for this challenge, I have to slide a Pokemon down? Like, um... Wait. Where am I supposed to go for this? Oh, it's here? Oh, I thought it was going to be the other side. Do I choose a Pokemon to slide on? Because I'm telling you now, I would choose two friggin... Mushroom dudes. Why have I got a feeling this is going to be reminiscent of uh, the snowboarding on uh, Twilight Princess? Oh, do I have to try and make it through every gate? Uh, 
It literally is just sliding, but it's not even cool sliding. It's dumb sliding. I thought I was literally going to be going down a proper slope. Like, on a sledge type deal. I didn't know it was literally going to be like Sonic the Hedgehogging down a slope like that. Then again, even Sonic would use his noggin and actually get something to sledge down on. But stupid off! Was that literally it? It wasn't even difficult! Hello there, little ice whale Pokemon. It is kind of a cute Pokemon. I imagine its evolution is even huger. No idea what to expect from this battle because I haven't come across any trainers to like let me know of anything. You know? I mean, she could be like level 50, level 60. I'm not expecting like level 70. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna get overwhelmed. Level 4. Level 4? No, come on. Nintendo, come on, seriously. Easy. I imagine bug and ice. Probably could have used ember and we would have been fine. <laughs> it's easy, does it? Come on, what's your show piece gonna be? That is a big dude. He's a whale. A land whale. Ooh. He took that like a champ. But I imagine it's a water and ice Pokemon. Oh, you used up my freaking... Oh, yeah, because you used a water attack. Man, good job I got another one of them. Bye bye, dude. That's actually kind of a cool Pokemon. I might have to go for one next time. You know something? I'm kind of glad that I swapped from Altaria. That's two battles in less than an hour where Altaria is involved. Oh, why did I use fire? Friggin' idiot. Oh, because you're about to terraform it into Ice Tide. That's why I used the fire. Guess I'm gonna win. Look at that. You know, I think if I was ever to play this again, I'm going to try and rush through it a little more. Because having the ability to just roam around. My Pokemon are so highly leveled now. I can't help but wonder if like, the Elite Four side of things is going to be really easy. Like, really easy. Yay, my last badge. Yes, it is customary for us to have a photo together. Did she not want to have the photo? In that case, I like her. I don't like having my portal taken, neither. Yes, let's go. I need to go back to the uh, lighthouse as well. I need to try and remember that. And as much as the Pokemon League awaits for us, I have a star base to take down. A final star base to take down. And then maybe I won't go straight to it. I need to do the lighthouse thing. 
no, it's kind of bad that I haven't been already. Um, but I've just been too intrigued by all these new areas. Especially, like, this snowy area. Because this is, like, the like tallest peak on the map. Uh, one of the ten sites of Paldea. Yeah. It's massive. It's bigger than that one over there, definitely. Ah, no. Oh, my days. This is why repels would be nice. Stop Pokemon running at you. Oh, wow. You literally come up here and you can see that place. And how close they are. Damn. And there's a Pokemon Center down there. I don't think I've been to that one. Or have I? I'm here. Um, I forget what it was I was supposed to do. I'm, I know I was meant to meet someone. Is it round the back? Uh, nope. It is not round the back. Is it on here? Nope. It's just a little birdie. <clears throat> I literally had to walk to the left. Awesome. Seriously, you beat me here. I don't know how, dude. You must have been walking all the way because I beat two two gyms and I swear some star crew. Yes, let us find out. Oh, come on with a blase story. A parent obsessed with their work, never spending time with their kids, and then he messes up and he does something bad to his doggle. And he gets a massive reality slap in the face. What, you ain't going in? I'm, not, I'm going in by myself. You better be coming in here with me. That was the most graphically enhanced scene I've ever seen on this. I need your help. Yeah, it's bad for you. I'm about to say, is that all we're getting? You're after the Scarlet Bull. What would you be needing that for? Oh, the book he's been carrying all this time? who has been writing in it and everything. Okay, now I'm curious. Alright, I imagine we'll be go going straight there. Um, she literally said nothing else apart from how we have to go there with the book. Oh, down there is where he got injured first. Suddenly the music got really exciting because he was like, well, I'm not going to let a friend down. My mom's a bitch and everything, but you know. <laughs> hey, like, this is a hell of a dusty place. Let's get out of here. We'll end up getting longworm if we stay in there any longer. Yo, mobile stuff, guess what? We're going to go back to the place where you got injured. You're in... What? Oh, you... Uh... I have eight gym badges, dude. <laughs> you really want to be testing? Oh, you're testing mobile stuff. Oh, I, I'm going No, this is bad. So, my Pokemon are highly leveled. Mobile stuff is going to go down immediately. Oh, he's going to be weak again, my dude. <laughs> my Pokemon are level 70. I imagine he's not even going to be level 50. I suppose it makes sense. I mean, didn't I battle him at the very beginning? No, I'm battling him by, by the very end. Please tell me his Pokemon are much higher level. 58. Okay, that is a massive difference. But you're still gonna go down. Oh, wow. Oh, you what? That stupid little thing learns Earthquake, but my friggin' Sand Dude wouldn't. 
I'll do game. I've been wanting that move Earthquake for ages, and I keep coming across every other Pokemon that has it. Organical? Oh, the block thing evolves again? Uh oh. It's kind of interesting. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage. Oh, now that's going to do a lot of damage to Um. Dippy Duck, you're going to come up. He's going to take some damage from this. Ouch. Surf. Yeah, down. You know something? I probably should have come here sooner then. It would have been more of a challenge. Back when I first started this mission. Toad's Cruel. Yeah, let's switch. Uh, Galade. You know, this is probably the first time I've ever actually had a Galade in my team. Because I didn't even bother with it with the other Pokemon game it first came into. I can't remember which one that was. But I remember getting it to fill the Pokedex and I was like, oh, that would be a really cool Pokemon. If only it wasn't so late in the bloody game. Ow. <laughs> I forgot I gave him Rocky Helmet. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really useful. I can't believe the first battle and it comes in useful. Uh, Squaveline? That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, it's that weird ass thing. I still don't even know. I don't even know what it's typing is. All I know is that it's freaky looking. It's like close to a horror film thing. A cloister. Now you see, I always get cloister wrong. I always think it's water and ice, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But that just comes from scars from Gen 1 and 2, where I'd be taken out with friggin' Blizzard from cloister. Also, cloister is an awesome Pokemon that is not discouraging whatsoever. There is nothing childish or euphemistic about its appearance at all, and its battle with Onyx. Mobo Staff. I will throw in my Mobo Staff. Mobo Staff versus Mobo Staff. Let's see who's the best one. Who has the best Doge? Okay. <laughs> like for like. Alright. Um. Oh, I imagine you haven't got this. Flavor. He's terrestrializing. Oh, you know something? That actually caught me off guard. I didn't think he was going to do that. Well, at least it says Dark type, but that caught me off guard. I was not expecting him to do that. Please don't do the same. Oh, dude. I swear I, he learned that late. I thought he would have done a bit more damage as well. Right, so that's got me thinking. Um, Maybe Area Zero might be a good place to go. Dude, you're not like the toughest battle I've had yet. Most people I've gone against I've taken out in one shot. I expected the final battle in the gym to be like in the level 50s. 
Right, I had a choice there between Nomona and Penny. And I I really, really wanted to click on Penny, but I I don't know. I feel like Penny's story is is not part of what we're doing here. I'm pretty sure pe part of Penny's story is uh, with all the other crew. Oh yeah, I've got to go and meet a bit. Oh, so for me to finish that part, I actually have to go to Victory Road and kick ass over there. So I guess I am going back over here. Back, and now I've set the destination. There's apparently a bear in the vicinity. Where is this bear? I see lots of whales, but no bear. The game is lying to me. Oh, well that was easy enough. Well, there's the lighthouse I'm, so, I'm gonna try and get to. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it is the ruins. I don't know if these have any sort of significance yet. Aha, I saw you in the window. I mean, like, do these have any significance other than, like, you know, this is where you can find Gimme Ghoul? You know, it's like, Gimme Ghoul is, like, the most common Pokemon in this region. You just can't... I haven't caught one of you yet. Tinker Tough. Yeah, you guys seem to give me issues when I try and capture you. Oh, well, there's the thing where I've got to fight from. All right. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Let's get this flying location. I think I already have it like, but... Modonk. Yo, dude, I haven't fought no one in this region. Well, maybe one or two. I don't know. Well, let's go... Let's go fight someone. That's just freaking phone calls. I always think I've done something wrong. Or I've hit just an imaginary wall. Dude, I love the quiff, but... You know. What? Wait a minute. Where am I? Where the heck did it put me? Oh, it like jumped me like 50 feet forward. I want to fight this person. I have to go in for a battle every now and then. Yeah. I haven't caught one of them yet. I don't think I've come across an opportunity to catch one of them. That's a better angle for the fight. Anyone else ever get any weird angles when you're fighting people? I mean, like, I fought a battle which absolutely cracked me up because it somehow spawned me in the battle on a ridge. And so, <laughs> my little duck. He kept sliding down the ridge, and so, like, the attacks were just all over the place. Like, everyone was aiming in random places. Oh, Oh, I already caught a Vaporeon. Ah, screw you, Vaporeon. I think it's, uh, Umbreon. I don't have. Just leave me alone, you friggin' duck. I already have duck. My duck kick your ass, duck. Oh my god, both of you with a cloud nine crap. Friggin' Dilema. Oh, my days. <laughs> oh, it's a cool scene. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They're getting piano lessons? That's quite funny. And again, I mean, as supposed to be an evil leader boss, you have to have some sort of artistic flair. Most artistic flair is, you know, kind of rubbish. This dude learning the piano is going to be good. Wait. I'm going... I'm going in a battle against a piano teacher? Um. Okay. This will be interesting. I imagine this guy has ties with the Team Star leader then. He seems to be on his, his side a little bit. Yeah, let's just go for a surf. I forget what type this dude is. Is it like Poison and Fairy or something like that? I know he's something weird. I think I tried raising one in uh, Sword and Shield and I never did. Hatrum. Yeah, the switch. Switch it up, Dino. My Pokemon are so highly leveled. Oh, 
Oh, you got you got no chance. I just went for a bite rather than a shadow ball. What's the point in wasting this powerful move? Going down in one, dude. Yeah, you down. Well, well, indeedy. An outstanding performance. Wait, that dude used to be the the academy big guy. Like the I forget what you call it. You know, so that's kind of uh, interesting. So is he part of Team Star as well? Yeah, goodbye to you. Can I sign up my Pokemon before I go in? You know what? Sign it. Let's go in. Am I ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Who actually opens the door and lets me in? You know, they could just keep it closed and make it difficult for me to get in. Just get on career on and jump over like, but you know. Maybe I just answered my own question. Can I just say, you guys have got, like, I mean, this is quite a scenic base you've got here. It's nice. I quite like it. I mean, it's a bit damp in places, but this is quite a scenic place to be. Yeah, go on, you, you, you go and do something. I don't know if, like, these guys are going to be any good, but, you know, we're going for it. Knock them out! Rippy Tops ought to do pretty good, because I'm... Well, apart from against the Tinker Dude, because, um, they're like, um... They're Steel and Fairy, and, you know, I only have Poison to go against uh, Fairy type. Yo, Kalia, don't you dare hurt me. I don't even come across a wiggly soul. That's so unfair, man. Come, you go knock them out. You go knock them ones out. You having fun over there, Dippy Tops? What? Uh, you okay? <laughs> you floating? Where's some more? Aha, here's some more. I'm losing frames! <laughs> My frame rate! Right, any more? Aha! These should be my last three. And easy does it. For the big three pair dude. Oh, interesting name you've got there, Ortega. But do you have interesting Pokemon to match? Or are you going to have the typical ones? I'm just going to absolutely destroy you. You definitely seem the flashiest. I do, man, ill. I still haven't caught an Azumarill yet. I've come across it so many times and I've just not bothered to catch it. It's like I see it and I'm like, meh, never mind. This is going to be an easy battle as well. Level 50s. Weekly Turf. I think Wigglytuff was like one of the first Pokemon I raised. As in like from Gen 1. Because when I first learned Pokemon, I was just like, I was just getting like six Pokemon from the beginning. <laughs> Poison jab. I think Bulbasaur was like my second choice. I think Squirtle was my first choice. I never actually went for Charizard straight away. Because, like, I was a kid. I was a bit dumb. I didn't realise that Charmander evolved into him. Even though it makes complete sense, considering their names.
Um, excuse me, you make it magical? Is this actually gonna hit because you're steel type? Nope, it still hits. Uh, it's a fairy type freaking wagon. Yeah, that don't hurt much. I'm about to whoop your ass. Do I really? <laughs> yeah, like he's outmatched and he's like, dude, I just nearly took out your wagon in one shot. Uh huh. Really outmatched, I am. I think they're the words I should have spoken. Yeah, the final badge. And it seems like this guy, um, although he's like quite a young boy genius, he beats himself down a lot. Sorry. I'm not sorry, what's just been told. Um, this, uh, it's Penny. It's obvious. Been away for 18 months in the Gala region. So she's British. <laughs> and it, he was the old director. He resigned because of what happened with Team Star. And Penny was the one who took the punishment for it, but it weren't really a punishment. It was just a rest period sort of thing. The big boss? Who could be the last boss? Yeah. In the schoolyard after dark. Yes, Clive. You come as well. Freaking <laughs> Clive. I'm just, I, I'm just gonna keep going with this Clive thing because I, I've got a feeling as soon as I say that it's the principal, he's gonna be like, nah, I'm not the principal, I'm definitely Clive. Yeah, we should definitely head over. Alright, and I've got to go all to the back end. Because it's dark. It's been dark forever in this game, so I imagine it's planned like this. Whee! Oh, do I have to go inside? I thought I had to... Man. Also, why is there no doors to get to the back end of this? It feels like a lot of wasted space. And where are you walking from? There's no doors over there, only windows. You peeping? You peeping for windows? You nasty little pervert. Aha, there's the headmaster. Go on then. Sup, Dippy, Director Clive. <laughs> Clive, remember. <laughs> well, I thought, considering that we're at the end of the story, we put it down. I suppose he's uh, disguised away like Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, no way. I didn't know. <laughs> I know I didn't do that. Your disguise definitely wasn't perfect, my dude. I noticed it with you from the very start. Uh, the trident to the big boss of oh, Team Star was me all along. Oh, well, okay, that got me by surprise. So I get to go against you? Cool. I still feel like Penny's to do with it, or else, like, he gave you things at the end of that that one, but then she gave you things, so I can't help but wonder if this is a cover. Right, okay. I find this really curious. Level 60 as well, cool. Ah, oh, do Finn. Level 60 ain't using yawn. Shut up. Alright, let's swap out. What Pokemon are you gonna throw out next? Oh, he fell asleep anyway. Uh, a bomber snow. Yes. Dino, you've got a very easy fight coming up. That Obama Snow is going to be very toasty warm. Snow warning. Oh, you, you make it snow. Man. 
I have no idea what that does. Does that lower like the attack power of like certain moves or something? Or does it improve um, ice attacks? Poltergeist. No, I, oh, I raised a Poltergeist when um, when it came to the Gala region because it's like, you know what? Yeah, the British are known for cups of tea, so I will have a tea cup ghost. Thing is, it wasn't particularly strong, but I still kept with it. Gotcha, I'm just nearly leveling up. Hound Doom. Oh, I'm gonna have to switch because I've not got anything good to go, go against it. I mean, I could figure it out with Hyper Voice, but Meh might as well put something to this. And do it's funky thing that you have that Pokemon because that's the Pokemon that started it all. Kind of. I also like Houndoom. Amoongus. Uh, what is Amoongus? Is it a poison type? Poison and grass, right? Well, at least I know how this dude stays high. Why would I want to full swipe game? Why did it flick back up? God damn it. Also, ghost attack should not be hurting me. I am fighting time. I know it's psychic first, but still. The snow finally stopped. What? Quick? Quaquaval? I don't even know what a Quaquaval is. What is a Quaquaval? Ah! Oh, is that what the duck Pokemon evolved into? That's it, I've not seen anything of it. Um, so I imagine water and flight. It's a dancing Pokemon. Oh, nearly. This may get dangerous. Dude, this ain't gonna get dangerous whatsoever. Oh, you actually gonna take me down? Because it did do a lot of damage. Oh, Galade, no. Well, I have to admit, it's the first battle where my Pokemon has gone down. Uh, so I one fainted, one asleep. Um, let's put the Doge up. Let's play around. Oh, you keep wanting to use that, don't you? Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. But you see, my Doge has got a lot of defense. I don't even know if I've ever actually terrestrialized a Pokemon during this entire series. I've literally just been going against every single trader, just normal. Well, Master Dippy. I freaking I had a feeling it w wasn't going to be you. Because there was something to do with Penna. It's, it's not him. I mean, that... Should we buy surprise? 
in a way, but then like it made sense in the end. So it's like, wait, wait, wait. Um, is it through? Do I actually have to go through the doors? You know what? Yeah, let's go with the doge. Do I go indoors? All right, let's have a nosy. Uh, let's pay a visit to someone else. To begin with. All right, because last time I spoke to you, you was actually going back to lessons or something. Yeah, congratulations. I remember. Yeah, because like uh, I have kind of like been to and fro from the school just to make sure I'm not missing anything. But I remember speaking to her in the entrance hall and she was saying something about going back into teaching as a nurse. 10 max revives. Nice. Uh, well, that's kind of cool. And she eventually became... Man, I can't find the door. She eventually became a nurse. Um... Right. In my dorm. Rest. 